Hi everyone, it's Jessalyn. Welcome back to my channel. You guys have been requesting me to film a back to school period kit for the longest time and I promised you that I would film this before back to school. So here it is. There's a lot to go over, a lot to talk about. Let's get started. First, let me show you the pouch that I'll be using. Here it is. You guys probably saw this in my back to school haul and the reason why I have two is because I'll be giving one away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video to learn how to enter the giveaway. I chose this pouch because it actually coordinates with the backpack that I'll be using this year. My backpack is pink gray and the hardware is silver. As you can see the pouch is this really nice metallic silver all around and there's a heart cut out with loose sequins. If you didn't know, I'm a sucker for anything that has like loose sequins or glitter that shakes. This is gonna be so much fun to play with. And it is pretty roomy, which is why I thought it would be perfect for my period kit. Of course, you don't have to use the pouches that I'm showing you in this video, but here's some ideas. In case you don't wanna buy a separate pouch, you can always use your mom's old makeup bags. These are my mom's Ipsy bags, and she has like a ton of them. So I might even turn these into period kits for my friends. They have these $5 pouches at Target right now. There's a bunch of them. I have two though. This one says self-made. It's gold all around. And I'm using this as my beauty kit, but of course you can use this as a period kit. And then this one says sometimes all you need is a billion dollars. There was another one that said gold digger, which I thought was pretty cool. No, it didn't say gold digger, gold digger. <laughs> And in case you guys don't want to make your own period kit, you can buy like a pre-made one. This is from the company My First Period Kit. This is kind of like a one-time use as well, so once you're done using all the pads and stuff that's in here, you might need to refill it. But that's just an option in case you don't want to hassle with making your own. Alright, now on to the fun part. What we put in our period kit. Starting off with pads, the two brands that I love to support are Cora and Elle. Both of them are organic, chlorine free, and pesticide free because you never know what goes into making a pad. So with organic pads, at least I'll have peace of mind that, you know, my body isn't absorbing all those harsh chemicals. Plus, Cora and Elle are really, really cool because with every purchase, they give back to girls in need. Since in some countries, girls miss school because they can't manage your period which is really sad so I absolutely love supporting these two brands of course you don't have to get pads or panty liners from Cora or Elle it's just my personal preference and I thought I would tell you guys just in case you want to check them out you'll need a variety of pads in your period kit so let me show you some examples you never know if your clothes gonna be heavy or light it might be light in the beginning and then heavy in the middle I have some different sizes. Let me show you the panty liners first. You're probably wondering why I have a bunch of panty liners and that's because sometimes when us girls are done with our period or before our period, we get discharged. I have a variety of them. I have some Cora ones and L. It's good to have a lot. And then I have some pads. These two are Cora pads. And what I love about Cora's wrapping is that they aren't made out of plastic. They're actually made out of a sustainable material. So it's eco-friendly. This is Elle's pad. And this is actually like an overnight one. But in case you have a heavy flow and you want a lot of protection, you should definitely use these. Their wrapping is made out of plastic, but you can always use it to dispose your old pad. And of course, you'll need more than one pad because one pad isn't gonna last you throughout the whole entire school day. You'll leak and you know, you just need to change it every so often. Oh, and very important thing to remember, don't flush your pad or tampon down the toilet because you will clog your school's toilet or your toilet at home. Moving on, another crucial essential that I need in my period kit are wipes. Now, I can't stress this enough, but like when you're done changing your pad and you're wiping yourself with toilet paper, Come on now, you're dealing with blood. It gets sticky, it's just overall gross, which is why I love using wipes. And the ones that I personally like using are Elle's Organic Wipes. No, I'm not sponsored by Elle. I just absolutely love their brand and Cora. I'm gonna show you like a bunch of brands in this video, but again, no, I am not sponsored. Um, and in case you don't wanna use like organic wipes or if this is like a little too pricey, of course you can use Cottonelle Flushable Wipes. These are flushable, which is perfect because you can just flush it down the toilet and you won't have to worry about clogging your school's toilet. And if 
you don't want to buy like a separate pack of wipes, you can always put some Huggies Natural Wipes in a Ziploc bag in case you have a sibling who still wears diapers. Now the reason why um, I always have to have like organic wipes or just wipes that are made for it down there is because we need to make sure that our pH levels are balanced. If it isn't, then it gets itchy and you can get infections, which isn't good. So make sure you have wipes that don't have fragrance and that are all natural. Another important essential that I need in my period kit is an extra pair of panties. Now these I got online and they're really cool because these are actually made for your period. So it absorbs all of that period blood. In case you're expecting your period on the week that you're expecting, you can wear these and in case it happens, then you'll know that you'll be protected. Let me show you what it looks like. Don't cringe, this is like a new, brand new pair that I haven't worn yet. I have another one, but this is just what it looks like. I believe this is made out of bamboo, which is why it's called Bam Body. Again, I'll link you in the description down below in case you're interested. I was going to include this into the giveaway as well, but since I don't know who the winner is or what size the winner is, um, I'm just gonna not include it, but it's pretty cool. You can also wear like a panty liner with this, but since I don't wanna be wasteful, I would just wear it by itself. And I put it in like the Ziploc bag because in case I do leak at school and it gets all over my underwear, I can just put my old underwear in the Ziploc bag and wear the band body one. Speaking of leaking, in case you stain your pants, I have a solution for that. This is something that everyone should have in their period kit, which are shout wipes. I have more than one, of course, in case I need more than one. And I feel like these are very convenient. I know some people would use like a Tide pen, but like... Since you stained your pants and you're using the Tide pen, wouldn't like the blood get on the tip of the pen? So basically like when you need to use the pen again, it'll still be there and that's just kind of gross. So with the wipes, like I said, they're way more convenient. And again, I have more than one. Some other items that I have in my period kit that I find useful to have are some alcohol wipes and Q-tips. Now you're probably wondering why I need these. Well, let's be real here. When you're changing your pad, sometimes blood gets stuck underneath your nails. It's really gross, and no matter how many times you try to wash your hands, it's still there. So with the alcohol wipes, at least it'll take out the blood and also sanitize your hands. And then the Q-tips, in case there's still a little bit of blood underneath your nails, it can get into all those crevices. These I actually got at Miniso, and they're really cool because one end is pointy and the other one's round. They're individually wrapped, so at least I'll know that like every Q-tip that I use is clean. You don't necessarily have to use this for the blood that gets stuck underneath your nails. You can also use them to clean your ears or your nose. There's many uses for them. Next, I have some deodorant. This is from my favorite brand, Native. It's their new scent, Cucumber Mint. They also have a coconut vanilla one. I just wanted to try this one out. I definitely recommend all natural deodorants because if you didn't know, most deodorants on the market, they contain aluminum. And aluminum is linked to cancer, which is really scary. They use aluminum to prevent you from sweating, which isn't good as well because your body's supposed to sweat to release all the toxins, and then your body ends up absorbing the aluminum, so then it's in your system. I'd rather be safe than sorry, by using an all-natural deodorant, so I definitely recommend Native deodorant. No, I'm not sponsored, although I wish I was. And you don't necessarily have to include it into your period kit. I just wanted to include it because I want the winner to receive one of my favorite products. You could always have a separate essentials bag and put your, your deodorant in there. Last but certainly not least, you'll need a hair tie. Now, I can't stress this enough too because girls that have long hair like me, while you're changing your pad or using the restroom, you'll always want to tie your hair up. Make sure you have at least one or two in your period kit and some in your essentials kit. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. There's a ton of videos out there to show you how to put together a period kit or an emergency kit, but this is just my version since you guys requested me to film this. And this is primarily a period kit, which is why I didn't include any lip balm or hand cream, all that other stuff. This is something that I'll be taking with me to the restroom, so I'll only need the things that I really need. Plus, I have a separate pouch for my essentials, and this is actually what I'm using to keep all of my essentials. So in here, I'm still kind of working on it. I have gum, um, hairbrush, some lip balm, just all that other stuff. If you want me to go into detail, make sure you stay tuned for more what's in my backpack. Now to enter the giveaway, make sure you follow the link in the description down below and sign up for it. Let me know in the comments down below that you entered. Like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any videos from me, and I'll let the giveaway run for about two weeks, so make sure you stay tuned to find out who the winner is. Good luck everyone! Bye!